Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you how we can add charts into our Angular application. So before uh, starting this video, I want to uh, just tell you one thing. So whenever you are thinking to add any chart into your Angular application, make sure that that particular chart library belongs to open source or MIT license. Otherwise, you may face uh, some major consequences after adding any other chart libraries which are not a uh, free so this chart uh, js library is open source it open source it is under mit license so you are free to uh, use that so to add this library into your angular application you must visit chartjs.org from here you will get all the necessary steps which are required to add chart into your angular application so first i will demonstrate to you without wasting any time let's start with the video so once you visit chartjs.org you need to click on get started section here in the getting started section you need to find installation and this command you just have to copy paste into your terminal and it will start in installing chartjs for you so for me it's already installed so i don't have to do it again so once you install it into your package.json you will get the necessary information like this chart.js library is successfully installed and the version which we are using as of now is 4.4.3 so let's start with the uh, configuration so first you need to import chart and registrable into your chart.js otherwise it may give you some errors so let's say if I remove this line right so you will find you will get one error like this bar is not registered uh, controller okay so to register all the controllers you need to use this statement as chart dot registered and dot 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 registrables okay so next part is you need to add some configuration so that configuration you may get it from here so if you click on configuration sorry you can click on chart types and from here uh, based on the uh, chart which you want you can copy paste this information so i have already copy pasted that just that since i am using it outside the ng on in it i am using public as access type the type is bar and in the options i have mentioned this aspect ratio as one only and into data section i have added few things so you can see labels which is my x axis values and this is data sets so within data sets i have this label sales and profit after tax which is pat okay and each sales uh, have one data point as 467 576 572 and then for pat we have respectively 100 120 and all okay and this bar color is in blue this bar color is in red okay so that is not the main point the next part is uh, i can create one variable as chart which is of type any and into my ng on init method what i mentioned is this dot chart is equal to new chart and i have given some id my chart which we have to use it in html and this configuration i am passing it to that chart like this comma this dot config and let's go to our html so here this is nothing but division of class chart container so if you have to add any css to the container that you can add it using this class then we need to use this is important okay we need to use this element canvas element and this id should be same as that you have mentioned over here my chart so that same i have copy pasted with the help of interpolation i am adding this content chart which is my variable and now let's just see it on browser see now you can see all the columns which are in red so that is my second data set and for that label is pat so all the red columns are of pat so here we have built-in features as well so we can strike through if we just only want to watch pat if we just only want to uh, watch cells then we can strike through this as well okay so all the blue bars indicate cells all the red bars indicate pad okay and it automatically uh, handles this 
y-axis value based on the minimum and maximum value which you have okay so let's say if you don't want this bar then you can change it to pi as well so once you change it to pi you can see over here all the pad section is the inner section and this is your outer section is your which is in blue color which is cells right so in this way you can manipulate the uh, things inside your chart so i hope you got the essence of why we use chart and how we can use chart into our angular application how to represent the information in the form of various type of uh, charts i have just shown you bar and pi so similarly you can use others as well like donut and all okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you uh, like this and make sure to subscribe to this channel thank you